Hi, this is a celebration hop for the Katherine Kelly, founder of Team Tiny. She has reached a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! This hop is hashtag driven. The hashtag that appears in each video's title can be activated to provide a complete list of this hop's participants. Please do take the time to stop at each of the talented participants on the hop. Leave a comment at each stop and please consider subscribing. The more channels you leave comments on, the more chances you have to win from the many prizes available. Some prizes may be only available to the continental U.S. residents, so please include your country in the comments. Also, you must be a subscriber of Katherine Kelly's channel to be eligible to win, so don't forget to subscribe to her channel. And if you get that sub bug, go ahead and subscribe to me also. <laughs> All the details, listing requirements, and prizes available will be listed in the drop-down box below. So, in honor of Katherine Kelly reaching a thousand subscribers, I am going to do what they call case her and I'm going to um, I'm not going to create exactly what she created but I'm using a technique that she did she made a card and it was called the video was called flutter fluff and pretty stuff trifold card by hand or machine and it's hashtag Katherine Kelly hashtag Newton's nook now as you see have been watching I have been creating this trifold card and now I am going to boy I'm way behind on this anyway I'm going to do a little ink blending here and I'm going to use Simon Hurley scene to use the grass for it um, it's a scene stencil scene builder stencil and I'm also using the elements that you saw me do the print and cut for my Cricut print and cut was um, Echo Park, no, Summer Fun by Cartabella, I believe. I'll look it up and then I'll put in the description what it is exactly. But this stencil is a Simon Hurley stencil and I love it. I love the scene builder. I love how... I have clouds and I have sun and the mountains and so here I'm using some pine needle distress oxide ink and I'm just blending away blending 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 I wish my hands really moved that fast it's like <laughs> so, and I'm gonna move along down the line there and just get myself look at how cute that is with the brush so then I just blending, blending, blending. And then I use some shabby shutters also. And I flip the stencil over so that the grass, next layer of grass, is going in a different direction. So it's not on the same one. And here I just use some, um, on my rag there I have some Squeaky Clean by Brutus Monroe to clean my brush in between uses so I'm not mixing colors. And this one is shabby shutters. And I'm just going to go through and blend all this up. So. Now, Catherine, when she made hers, she did flowers and all kinds of stuff. And it was so pretty, so kind of elegant almost. Mine is kind of like, I guess, whimsical, I guess is what you would call it. I would call it cutie woody. It's just a cutie woody. And then here I decide to mess it up and throw some more different greens in here and just kind of blend the colors together so that you got all your lights and shadows and all that kind of, you know, depth and stuff in there. So, try to get rid of any white space I might have. Now here I go again, I flip it over, and now I switch back to the pine needle, Distress Oxide Pine Needle. I just put just a little bit of the green there, just a little bit, just to have a little green peeking through. I'm trying to act like I know what I'm doing. 
Yeah, 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 put that there. I get carried away. I just start blending and blending and blending. <laughs> and if you're still here with me, thank you. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I am like, at this very minute, I'm at six, I'm six people away from 300 subscribers, which means I only need 706 people to, for me to reach a thousand. But this isn't about me. This hop is about Catherine Kelly today. And don't forget when you're hopping along, don't forget to leave comments on um, other people's videos because the more you comment, the more chances you have of winning some of the prizes. I'm not really 100% sure exactly what the prizes are just yet. But our sponsors are pretty cool companies. So I think, I believe we have Avriel, Newton's Note, Pink and Maine. Oh my gosh, Pink and Maine. Um, there's quite a few others. And there's also supposed to be some bigger YouTubers in here with us. So, yeah, this is exciting. Doing hops like this is just really exciting. So here I am. I'm just, now I, I have squeaky clean on that rag. So it cleans everything and then takes the inks right off and keeps everything nice and clean. Now here I go. I'm going to mess up my thing and I have to re-glue the border down because I should have ink blended before I put a border down. But I wasn't paying attention. I was just going with the flow. Just going with the flow. So now I have to rescore that little thing so that it bends right. And these little images are so cute. I'm just not really sure how I'm setting them up yet. As you see here, I go back and forth and back and forth. And I over blend that and mess that one up. It was a print and cut, but. And then I end up saying, oh, look, if I did that, I can just make that little house pop out when it opens. So, like I said, I'm not making it exactly like she made hers, but she inspired me to do this with the trifold. Because I've never made a trifold card like this before. So, it's cute. I'm not a newbie at card making, but yet I'm still a newbie. It's been like... A little over two years now that I've been doing this and I'm still learning there's so many things to learn and it's awesome that's why I follow so many of my fellow crafters because if it's so many of us out there there's still so much to learn everybody has their own unique spin on it. and there's some really really talented ladies gentlemen I think there's some gentlemen I'm not sure Anyway, there's some really talented crafters, artists, in this hop, so please, go check them out. But this is cool. I mean, my goal here is to make that little house kind of pop out a little. There you go. There you go, Linda. Score it up. And then we'll put our little flamingo down. And then I add some other elements. And so yeah, okay, so if you enjoy this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up also. And leave a comment. If you have any constructive criticism or I'm open to suggestions. So I end up when I finish this one, I end up making another one to go with it so that way you see it twice. Because when you cut your Oh, let me go over that real fast. For the trifold, I didn't do that in the beginning because I was talking about this hop, but in the beginning to get that trifold card, you take an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and cut it down to nine and a quarter. So nine point twenty-five if you do it in the cricket. Nine and a quarter. And then once you cut that off, which if you noticed earlier in the video, I was um to trying to do some measurements before I actually cut that off and it kind of didn't work. But anyway, then you score it at 
three and a quarter on the top side. Then flip your paper around so that the bottom becomes the top. And then score it again at three and a quarter. And there you get your trifold. And I'm putting a little lemonade sign up in there because it just says summer. This would be a really cute uh, pool party invite. But you'll notice I end up taking that. See, I cut off that tree that I didn't do good with. I didn't like the way I did that. I'm trying to salvage this little palm tree here. Because I tried to ink blend over the other one and it kind of messed it up. I had so much fun doing this today. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, this is so much fun. It's like some some summertime, 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 zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> I really do love that I can go to snapclick.com, and I know you guys hear me say it all the time, but snapclicksupplycompany.com, and you can get Echo Park paper, you can get um, all kinds of brand name digital files for digital paper and you get all the elements the paper packs all of them so now on here I'm gluing that little swimsuit on the back of the front flap so that when it folds you see it and then when it opens up you see it so you're not looking at the back of it when it opens up and put a little glamper camper there and then pretty little dress, which I should have put my flamingo on this one because that little dress has flamingos all over it. And then I decided to go ahead and cut out these roses after I did a border with them. Just to dress it up some more. I had so much fun doing this, guys. So much fun. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. God, my hands look fast, don't they? Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Look at that, look at that. Imagine if I really cut that fast. Wow. Look at them hands go. <laughs> Doing these boys over is a trip, guys. Alright, if you liked my video, thank you. <laughs> go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'm almost at the end here. Here we go, we're going to get it folded up, and then I'm going to put a whole bunch more stuff on here, and you're going to notice that I end up taking the word swim off the other card, and I end up adding it after I put a bunch of roses in here. i got to girlify it. Get that glue out. I love, that's art glitter glue, by the way, that I'm using, the, and I buy it from MayMayMadeIt.com. And the reason I purchase, you can purchase it in other places like Amazon all, but the reason that I purchased the glue from MayMayMadeIt.com is because MayMay follows the guidelines for the glue. And the glue is not supposed to be shipped in freezing temperatures because the freezing temperatures are not good for the glue. And um, because she follows the guidelines, you know that your glue is always going to be good when you get it from her. So... Little roses just kind of add that final touch to it, don't it? So, yeah, there it is, guys. Alright, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that little thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and just put on a little bit of music. I think there's only a minute or so left on here, but I'm going to go ahead and end it with a little bit of music playing. Have a great day. God bless. Don't forget, stop at those other ones and go subscribe to Catherine Kelly. And then subscribe to me. All right. Bye. Have a great day. Finish the video the first, though, please. If you've made it this far in my video, oh, my goodness, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. I do appreciate every single one of you that take the time to watch my videos and subscribe and support me in my journey here 